The Bloodline has reigned as one of WWE's most dominant factions for years, primarily featuring members of the Inoai family or those connected to the family's legacy. However, some real-life Bloodline members have yet to make their mark in WWE. Notable names like Sean Naliuta, Lance Inoai, and Zilla Fatu, the son of the legendary Umaga, represent the family outside of WWE's Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. In recent developments, it has been revealed that Zilla Fatu will no longer be working with Game Changer Wrestling, the major promotion he's been associated with. Many fans speculate that this could signal his potential move to WWE. If Zilla Fatu does make the leap to WWE, there are a few exciting ways his debut could unfold. Here are four potential scenarios for how the son of the wrestling icon could make his impactful entrance, including the possibility of forming a new iteration of the Bloodline. Number 4. He could be Roman Reigns' enforcer. Roman Reigns has returned to WWE television with a couple of major objectives in mind. First, the original tribal chief is determined to reclaim his Zula Fala and re-establish himself as the true head of the table. On top of that, Roman aims to regain the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. However, both goals seem out of reach at the moment, as Reigns is currently standing alone. His only ally is Cody Rhodes, who also happens to be his biggest rival. This is where Zilla Fatu could make a game-changing entrance. The son of Omega could debut in the coming weeks, stepping in as Roman's new enforcer. While they'd still be a two-man unit against the world, together, they could pose a formidable threat to anyone who stands in their way. Number 3. Zilla Fatu could join Jacob Fatu in the bloodline. While Roman Reigns might hope to bring some family members to his side, that may not be the case. If Zilla Fatu signs with WWE, he could instead choose to align himself with Solo Sokoa's version of the bloodline. Solo's faction currently consists of four members, himself, Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, and Jacob Fatu. The involvement of Jacob Fatu, known as the Samoan Werewolf, could play a key role in Zilla's decision. Zilla and Jacob have teamed together on the independent circuit, so reuniting with him on WWE's grand stage would be a natural fit. While it's unclear if Zilla has a strong relationship with other family members, his bond with Jacob is undeniable. Number 2 he could form a new version of the Bloodline on WWE NXT. While it's exciting to imagine Zilla Fatu making a splash on the main roster alongside Roman Reigns, Jacob Fatu, and other members of the Inoai family, it's important to remember that Zilla is still new to the world of professional wrestling. Even if WWE brings him on board, he's very much a rookie at this stage. As a result, his debut might happen in NXT rather than on Friday Night SmackDown. While this might seem underwhelming to some, it could actually present an intriguing opportunity. Zilla could build his own version of the Bloodline on WWE's developmental brand. There's even speculation that Hikuleo, the half-brother of Tama Tonga, has signed with WWE. If talents like Lance Inouye or Sean Naliuta were to join the roster, Zilla could lead a powerful family faction in NXT. With Zilla, Hikuleo, Lance, and possibly Maliuta United, they could dominate NXT and create their own legacy before moving up to the main roster. Number 1. Zilla could appear on Raw with Jey Uso Jey Uso is currently absent from the Bloodline Saga on WWE TV. While his family and their allies are battling it out on SmackDown, the Yeet Master has found himself on Raw. However, life on the Red Brand hasn't been easy for Main Event Jey. He's currently facing several threats, including the Judgment Day, due to his alliance with the Terror Twins and the dominant Intercontinental Champion, Braun Breaker. If Zilla Fatu joins WWE, there's a chance he could debut on Monday Night Raw, aligning with Jey Uso instead of the rest of their family on SmackDown. A union between Zilla, Jey, and the Terror Twins could spell serious trouble for the Judgment Day, shifting the balance of power on the red brand moving forward. Zilla Fatu, a real-life member of WWE's famous bloodline and son of the late legend Umaga, has been generating buzz as a rising star in the wrestling world. 
From the moment news broke that he was training for a wrestling career, fans speculated about his potential involvement in Roman Reigns' bloodline storyline in WWE. Fatu has been honing his skills at Booker T's reality of wrestling, Row, promotion, known as an ideal stepping stone for those aiming to make it big in WWE. However, there has been an unfortunate update regarding the young star's progress. Earlier this evening, Zilla Fatu took to Instagram to announce that he would not be participating in the highly anticipated match in Philadelphia, where he was originally scheduled to compete for GCW. In response, GCW released an official statement confirming that Fatu would not be appearing for their promotion in the near future. As a result, the promotion has replaced him with Slade for the previously advertised match. Here's the official tweet from GCW Wrestling Handle. Zilla Fatu will not be appearing on tonight's GCW event in Philadelphia or any GCW shows for the foreseeable future. We tried our best to avoid this situation, but we have reached an impasse. We wish him the best. Matt Tremont will now face Slade tonight at GCW Aura in Philly. Interestingly, Fatu posted a brief message on his ex account following his absence from the latest GCW show. Check out Fatu's tweet right here. God is good. God is great Fatu, Fatu wrote. This isn't the first time controversy has surrounded Zilla Fatu. He previously had issues with reality of wrestling, Ro, leading to his departure from the promotion by Booker T. However, the two eventually reconciled, and Fatu now holds the road championship. The reason behind his current situation remains unclear, and it's uncertain whether he and WWE will reach an agreement in the future, despite the controversies surrounding him. Zilla Fatu has responded to Armando Estrada's announcement of signing a WWE Legends contract. Estrada previously managed Zilla's father, the legendary Umaga. Back in 2007, Estrada's partnership with Umaga dissolved during Umaga's feud with Bobby Lashley. Shortly after, Estrada took on the role of general manager for WWE's ECW brand, but was released in 2008 following months of inactivity. Estrada recently took to X to reveal his new WWE Legends deal. In response, Zilla posted a cryptic tweet. Check out Zilla's tweet right here. Zilla Fatu made his professional wrestling debut in 2023 with Booker T's reality of wrestling promotion. In an interview with Sportskeeda Wrestling's Bill Apter, Fatu shared that Booker T has been like a father figure to him. The WWE Hall of Famer also played a significant role in helping Fatu transition back into life after his release from prison. Fatu said, He is like a pops I never had, you know. When I came home from prison after doing six years, he took me in, you know, and he just guided me in the right direction and made sure I was good. Made sure my mom was good, made sure my brothers was good. But Book, you guys don't know, but Booker he has been tapped in with the Samoan dynasty for a long time. So Booker's like a brother to my uncles, my aunties. In 2024, Zilla Fatu secured his first championship in professional wrestling by winning the Reality of Wrestling Championship. He also holds the House of Glory Crown Jewel Championship. Currently competing on the independent circuit, Zilla is making waves in major promotions like GCW, HOG, and RO. Whether he will eventually make the leap to WWE and join his family, including former tag team partner Jacob Fatu, remains to be seen. Zilla Fatu shared a cryptic message following Roman Reigns' surprising intervention on WWE SmackDown, where he helped Cody Rhodes. After Rhodes secured a victory over Solo Sokoa in a steel cage match, he was ambushed by the bloodline. Reigns made a dramatic return to assist his longtime rival, stepping in against Sokoa and the rest of the bloodline. This comes after the bloodline previously attacked Reigns, even putting the original tribal chief through the announcer's table. Amid the ongoing family feud, Fatu took to X to post a mysterious message. Notably, Zilla had teamed up with Jacob Fatu briefly during his time on the independent wrestling scene. Here's a look at Zilla's tweet. Debuting in 2023, Zilla Fatu recently claimed his first championship in professional wrestling by winning the Reality of Wrestling Championship. 
Just days later, he added another title to his resume by capturing the House of Glory Crown Jewel Championship. He is currently competing on the independent circuit, performing for promotions such as Row, HOG, and GCW, among others. Upon his return to WWE SmackDown, Roman Reigns directly confronted Jacob Fatu, taking the fight to the bloodline. During an episode of the Busted Open podcast, Mark Henry floated the idea of a singles match between Reigns and Fatu, saying, How about you do Roman vs. Fatu first before Cody Rhodes vs. Fatu and you give Jacob a win over Roman because of the bloodline distracting and doing something? Now, Jacob can say to Solo that he did something that you didn't do. And it's like, I did beat Roman Reigns. And what is that supposed to mean? I'm not the tribal chief no more. No, 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 you're the tribal chief. Bro, I'm telling you, the drama, he said. At the upcoming WWE Bad Blood Premium Live event, Roman Reigns is set to team up with Cody Rhodes to take on Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu. On SmackDown, Reigns and Rhodes signed the contract, officially agreeing to join forces against their shared enemies. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!